All right. Hey, everyone. I am over here driving to school. I just left my home. Um, right now, I am not running late, but just getting into school with enough time that I can get myself ready for the day. But I wanted to try a different scenery, something new to see if um, actually filming from the car on my way to work. Um, I think I was thinking about this weekend um, doing a video of getting ready with me or um, something like that just so you can see what I do for getting ready for work in the morning um, and so on and so forth. So, you know, today is should be a regular day. Here in Pennsylvania, everyone, all my teacher friends were texting me and just calling me and saying, oh, they're calling for snow, they're calling for snow. And I looked on my phone and I saw rain, rain, rain. And I told them, I said, mm, I wouldn't count on having a two hour delay or having off. I don't think it's it's going to snow too, too much. So I'm glad I didn't have the mind frame that we were going to be two hour delay because I made sure I had my things together and I made sure I was ready for this morning. So I hope my teacher friends did the same thing because we are here driving to school. So, <laughs> so today is a regular day, no delays or anything. Um, but I will be I wanting to come on and vlog for you um, as soon as I get to work because uh, there are I want I was thinking about going over some of my data folders today because my kids actually got a test back and uh, I wanted to do some data folders so I was actually thinking you know when I go on and explain why and how I do these data folders but it's my first time vlogging from the car and I'm looking at people just looking at me. So <laughs> I have to get used to it, I guess. Um, but anyway, I am going to finish driving to school. Um, I will check in with you um, when I enter the building and uh, when I get into my classroom. All right. I will talk to you soon. Hey everyone, um, I'm sorry that I didn't get on right away. As soon as I got into school, um, I was just being thrown every single direction and I had to do all this stuff. So, But I definitely want to get on and talk to you about the data folders like I was saying to you as I was driving into school. Um, my kids are at specials right now, so I have some time that I can get on and explain those data folders to you. Uh, I did meet with some kids this morning and I met with them um, during writing class too to confer with their writing and one of the things in the data folder that we're looking at right now is a writing piece. Um, not so much a piece but a prompt writing. Um, we call them number nines but it's their part on their test where they are kind of like a text dependent analysis where they need to answer the question but be able to find evidence within that text and being able to explain the evidence. So. I don't do anything fancy this year with our data notebooks, but I actually call them data fo um, folders. And with the folders, I actually, I'm gonna cover this up, kitty. With the folders, it's just a regular manila folder, okay? Nothing special with it. But on inside of it, I keep their work, but I also have inside of it is their I have in there a bar graph that we get to create. I have a website for this where you can create your title for the bar graph, the numbers you want to have on this side, and the lines in between. So for the different axes. So I have a website. I'll put a link below so you can click on it and you can tweak it for anything that you want. So it's my favorite website. Uh, but like I said, I'll put the link below so you have it. So what we do is every time we look at it, we decided for each story that we read, they're number nine, we look at how they did. So you can see in the beginning of the school year, this person, this is the one we did together. So we always do one together, but they scored really well on that one. The one they did on their own, they didn't do too well. And the one we talked about was our last one here that you can see they definitely went up. 
Um, every time we look at our data folders, I have them make goals. So at the end here, I put the date, you can see here, they put the date and a goal they're going to set. So that's something they're working towards and striving to before the next one. So this person um, has, this student put down that they wanted to make sure they get a, a, a 7 out of 10 on, their, on the one that they actually did now. So they actually worked towards their goal from when they were here. They said they wanted a 7 out of 10. So when you look here, they exceeded their goal. So they ended up getting an 8 out of 10. So we celebrate that, and I always give them a little piece of candy or something, a little treat for meeting their goal. And then we set a different goal. So here we have, um, now this person wants to get a 10 out of 10. And then we work towards it. The key thing is about um, data folders that I like the best that I do is having each student set goals for themselves because then they have something to work towards and they feel very proud of themselves and, and I also teach them it is okay sometimes if you don't meet your goal but you still show growth and the whole idea for the bar graphs and I have the kids color it in so the whole idea about that bar graph is so that they can see their own growth that they are are creating throughout the year and their hard work so I think next year I'm going to use binders because I use the data folders for more than just writing. I use it when they get on study islands and I look at their benchmarks. I also do it for different skills, so select skills that they have. Right now we're in the process of having the compare and contrasting being put in there. But um, next year, I'm planning on doing binders. I ended up getting a lot of binders, enough for uh, two class sets for both of my classes, and I'm going to have them on a um, like on a bookshelf. And then this way, the kids will each have binders that they can flip through. I will have the same concepts with coloring in on each of these two. So I, that's what I wanted to make sure to share. Now I have to go ahead and um, go pick up my kids. I will check with you later. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday morning. Um, I just got into school today and um, I just have so much to do. So I wanted to get on and vlog this morning and say good morning, everyone. Um, and I just have a couple of things I need to do. I do need to run and make some copies for today and um, just a couple of things in my lesson plans that I kind of changed around once I got into work um, yesterday. So I changed some things around and I need to make some quick copies of some new things that we're going to be doing this week and especially for today. Um, in addition to that, um, I actually have to fill out um, super teams for my students. So I need to do some rewards and certificates for them and um, just kind of get myself ready for today, get myself organized and everything out. So, um, you know, the first thing this morning, I always like to come in and turn on my computers like you guys already know. And I am just turning on everything electronic. This way, when my kids come in, we're all set. But I felt so rushed this morning. Have you ever get that morning where you're just like, ah, everything I have to do, ah. <laughs> it's one of those mornings, but I will get everything done. And ooh, one of the computers are making noises. There you go. Sometimes the kids, they put the headphones on the keyboard so when they put the headphones on the keyboard and I go and turn them on, the buttons are pressed. So it makes noises. I always tell them, put the headphones back on the screen, but they're fourth graders. So sometimes they forget. And so it's all good. It's okay. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to get on to say good morning and have a fantastic day. And I will check in with you later. If not on my prep, I will check in with you um, at the end of the day. Um, before I scooch out of here and go home. All right, have a great day. Hey everyone, um, I am here after school today and I wanted to make sure I got on before I scooch out of here. Um, I am really trying my best to get out of here by four o'clock every single day, but today it's a little bit after four, not that much. Um, because I've noticed and if you are a teacher yourself right now um, and you feel the same way as this but I've noticed that 
I am losing my balance in life. I feel like I'm doing so much with teaching and so much with my work. I don't have that good balance with my personal life and the things I like to do. So my goal is because I get in here super early, um, at least I try to most of the time, and then I leave, I used to leave super late. So my goal is now to get in here and then being able to go ahead and scooch out of here. So I want to get on and do this video for you. But I wanted to share with you what I did really quickly um, for my kids tomorrow because I did change my lesson plans like I stated earlier. Um, I did change a little bit of my lesson plans and added some things to it that I thought would benefit my kids. So today in science class, um, my kids were received a study guide. And with my study guides, they were going in doing multiple choice questions. I kind of like doing my study guide almost like a practice test so they can see which questions they can do on top of their heads and which questions that they need to really work on. So they did the study guide today um, and we didn't get a chance to review it because we ran out of time. So I decided to create a Plickers. So a Plickers.com. If you don't know what Plickers is, then I guarantee you, you need to look into it. So I will put a link down below for how to get to Plickers.com. And then this way you can log on and set your class up. But what Plickers is, is a response system. So instead of the kids holding up whiteboards or raising their hands and answering questions, they have cue codes. Um, when you have Plickers, you need a cell phone for this or a mobile device like an iPad, tablet, something like that. Um, but with Plickers, they hold up a response card like this, which is a cue code. And all your multiple choice questions, if I zoom in a little bit here, you can pull it in, you can see that they have the answer choices along the side. So how I'm rotating it, the kids would have to rotate whatever letter is up top. That is the letter that gets scanned. So the letter gets scanned based off of what their answer choice is. So I hold it up on plickers.com on the screen. And once I do that, the kids read it or I read it out loud and they see their answer choices. And then they have to look at their codes and they have to flip it to the one they want, whatever the letter answer choice is, and then I take my cell phone or my iPad and I scan the entire room. And when I scan the entire room, it records it. I love Plickers because it gives you bar graphs, it collects your data, and it highlights which are the kids that need the most work on each question. So it breaks it down for you. But um, I love to use response systems like this in my classroom all the time. But like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can check it out yourself. And if you have any questions about it, just send me a comment and I'll make sure that I um, respond to you on any questions that you have for it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just make sure I share about Plickers and what I'm doing. Um, but today, honestly, as I'm looking at the time, which not on my wrist, I don't have a watch on today, but on my clock, um, I've noticed it's time for me to go. I need to keep that balance. So I hope you all have a good night and I will talk to you on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Hi everyone, it is Tuesday morning. Oh no, it's Wednesday morning. I keep doing that the last two or three weeks. I keep mixing up all my days, but it happens. It is Wednesday morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to make sure I got on and um, right away this morning because I know today is going to be a hectic day, but when is it not a hectic day? You all know I probably have said that in every single video because it is always a hectic day most of the time. But I wanted to get on and show you a gift that came today that I have for my kids all the time for the holidays. Um, I always like to give my kids a little something. So when I left yesterday, because I left early, um, the my custodian must have dropped off a a box for me that has my Christmas gifts for my kids. So um, this year I ordered off of Scholastics for them, Scholastic for them, um, and I ended up getting every single kid 
a book. So the book I decided to get for my, my kids this year is The Last Holiday Concert, and it is by Andrew Clements. So this is the same author that did Frindle, so the kids are very familiar with his work. So what I am doing this year is every single one of my, ch my children are getting this book for Christmas. And on the inside cover, I like to write a note, a personalized note to all of my kids with their name on it and let them know um, it's from me. So then this way they can always cherish that book. Um, and then I was lucky because for the month of December this year, Scholastic was giving away um, sheets of Pokemon stickers. And ever since we did that story works of Pokemon Go, um, the history or why Pokemon Go started, the kids have been all about Pokemon. So, and it's been okay with me because they've been having conversations about it. So I was so lucky that Scholastic has for every single child that orders this month or for the month of November, that they were able to get um, Pokemon Go stickers. Like I'm talking about a whole sheet. So I got enough for every single one of my kids and then, then some for me because I wanted some for papers when I grade them. So in addition to the book that they're going to get, they're also going to be getting a Pokemon Go sticker sheet. They'll love it and I'm so excited for them to get it. But um, it's if you're thinking of like inexpensive gifts for a whole class set or if you teach more than one class like I do and have two classes, Scholastic is phenomenal for that. They have more than just the books that are there. Um, you can order all different things from the teacher store that's there. So that is something that I was so excited to see when I walked in. I saw that I had a box and I was able to open it. So to me, it was like Christmas a little bit earlier. But I'm going to get myself ready for the day. I'm going to try to check in on prep when my kids are at specials. But you know, I always say that and I hardly check in on prep because it's hectic and busy and I always have a lot of work. But if I don't check in on prep, I will make sure I check in before I leave um, so I can tell you how my day is and any of the interesting things that we do. So I hope you all have a phenomenal day and I will talk to you guys later. Hey everyone, um, I wanted to get on. I'm here at my house, but I wanted to get on because I wasn't able to um, get on after school today. Um, and I talked about having my balance, so I made sure that I left work so I can get home. But I wanted to get back on and just tell you a little bit how my day went. Um, my kids did really well today. Um, but towards the end of the day, they started to get a little rambunctious. And um, just signs didn't go all the way as I planned it to be. But that's all right. That's what happens when you are a teacher. Everything isn't always as what's planned. But um, the reason why I couldn't get on after school today is because I was talking with my partner teacher and some other teachers and we were venting. <laughs> um, it was just kind of a draining afternoon and there were a lot of things that um, we wanted to discuss and a lot of things sometimes you just need to talk about with those teacher friends that you have. Um, if you are a current teacher, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just need a vent. And sometimes you need to just sit there for 20 minutes and do that and get it out of your system. And that's exactly what we did after school today. So that is why I am posting a close to Wednesday here at my home and not in my classroom. And um, I just wanted to make sure to get on because I know I said I would earlier and I'm doing my best I can to make sure that uh, I keep my word and make sure I do that. So, but I am going to end my Wednesday vlog right here. Tomorrow I will um, get on, hopefully in the morning when I first come in. If not, it would be after school. So um, I will check with you tomorrow. Hey everyone, it is Friday after school today. Um, I wanted to get on and vlog because I know yesterday, Thursday, I didn't get a chance to get on and talk to you guys and tell you how my day has been. But this week has just been exhausting to me. Uh, my body is just like 
once a break. And um, I know if you are a teacher, you know, maybe around this time, they're, when they're, especially when they're calling for snow, the kids act up a little bit, but um, it's not enough, but it's enough to like drive you nuts. But I've honestly been tired. And honestly, by now, I usually am taking a personal day, um, like around November, December time, so I can just kind of take a personal mental health day. And this year, for some odd reason, I didn't do it. And I feel that I'm, I have a lot of tension going on here. And I try, I always have to think about it before I talk to the kids, but um, I definitely need a break. I definitely need a break. So this weekend is definitely coming and I know earlier in the week I mentioned about a balance and having that important teacher balance and that is one thing so far this year for some odd reason I'm having trouble with it so I'm really trying hard to make sure I um, remain balanced and leave early a little bit earlier than I'm used to so I can actually do the things that I need to get done at home but um, like I said they're calling for snow so, and they're calling for snow from Sunday into Monday night. So it could be a possibility we can either one, have off or two, have a two hour delay. So, you know, I'm taking some things home and I'm taking home some extra work too, because if we do truly have off, um, I can have some things um, done, but I'm kind of hoping I do have off. So then I can take that day without taking a personal day, because if you know me, I hardly take personal days and sometimes I just I just need to I just need to but um, I definitely wanted to get on and um, to number one say hi for my Friday but I also wanted to say bye for the week and to end this vlog but I definitely am going to try my darnest honestly for next week to make it a better week with getting on but overall I think I did a pretty decent job with vlogging this week I missed one day but but that's okay um, I'm gonna actually you know just finish packing up wiping down you can see I have my Clorox wipes uh, about right there you know right there on my Clorox wipes I've been wiping down and my room smells fresh I love that smell freshness so um, let me finish wiping down my room and get on out of here so I can enjoy my weekend and um, I hope you all enjoy your weekend too I will talk to you all on Monday Bye.